Hey, it's Dylan from Tinker Coffee, and today we're going to talk about coffee brewing variables. So the variables I'm going to talk about are temperature, agitation, ratio, grind size, and time. Let's dive in. The first thing I want to talk about is temperature. We want really hot water to brew coffee because the hotter your water, the more you're gonna be able to get out of that coffee. Unless you're doing something like cold brew where you can substitute really cold water, but it'll take maybe 24 hours or longer to really get everything that you want out of that coffee. So if you don't have a variable temperature kettle that will give you the exact same temperature every single time, or um, a thermometer on your kettle that you use on your stove or something like that, the easiest way to keep it consistent is to use water that's just off boil. So next up, I'm gonna talk about agitation. When I say agitation, I mean anything in the brew that creates turbulence or movement. That movement can help to extract the coffee even better, and the higher extraction, the better your results. So we can do that. The easiest way I've found to do it is just by stirring after I bloom the coffee. So I pour a little bit of water in and use a spoon or a stir stick, and I kind of just make sure that all that coffee has gotten water and there's nowhere that has a clump of dry coffee, especially the finer you grind, you can run into that. So we just wanna give it a little stir. You can also add agitation by pouring briskly or quickly, or once you've filled up your brewer, just giving it a quick little swirl, get some of that coffee off the sides of the filter and allow a little bit more movement. All right, next up, I'm gonna talk about ratio. And ratio is a tricky one because it actually describes two different things and their relationship to each other. Those two things are the dose and the amount of water that you're using. So for a basic filter brewed coffee, I like to recommend a one to 16 ratio. That's one part coffee, 16 parts water. So for a Kalita, easy math would be 20 grams of coffee, 320 grams of water. For a Chemex, 42 grams of coffee, 700 grams of water. Every brew method um, has a different ratio that works best for it. Find what you like. If you notice that your coffee is a little watered down, maybe you back off how much water you're using or use a little bit more coffee. Same thing if your coffee's too strong, use a little bit more water or back off how much coffee you're using. All right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about, and I think this is the most important variable, is grind size. Because I like to keep my ratio at that one part coffee, 16 parts water, oftentimes the only variable that I'm changing from brew to brew is the grind size. I use taste as my guide, and if I notice that my brew is a little watered down, maybe I wanna fine up that grind, get a little bit more out of that coffee, get a little bit deeper into the bean. If you notice that your brew is tasting a little strong, maybe muddled, then you'll wanna coarsen up your grind size and let those tasting notes open up a little bit. If your coffee is dripping through really, really fast, you probably have too coarse of a grind. If your water just stops and it feels like that brew takes five, six, seven minutes, then you're gonna to wanna to coarsen it up. So the last variable I'm gonna talk about is time. We use time as a guide in all of our brews so that we know what variables we can change elsewhere. Time is the one variable that kind of depends on other things in order to change. If you have a really fine grind, it's going to choke up your brew and maybe take a little bit longer for it to drip out. If you're using cold water, like in cold brew, you're not gonna be able to extract that coffee in just a couple minutes. It's gonna take maybe a full day in order to get what you want out of that coffee. If you're using more coffee than you usually do, that also may take a little bit more time for that water to drip through. So again, use that as your guide if you're not comfortable tasting so that you know, I need to coarsen up my grind, let this water drip through a little bit faster, or maybe I'm gonna use a little less coffee. And that's it. Those are the five key variables that give you the most control over the flavor of your brew. I encourage you to experiment and find what works for you. 